All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth and truth sincerity. Um, just coming, coming back at you with another lesson. And the title of the lesson is called, We Don't Sugarcoat the Gospel. All right, we don't sugarcoat this ministry that we're in. We give you the good, bad, and the ugly. All right. We give you the lamentations, mournings, and woes, all right? Because, you know, what inspired us is uh, I was waiting in some line at a store, and, you know, you know you know how Jake be? Jake be like, man, you know me. I, I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm a real person. Well, when it comes to this ministry, man, we don't sugarcoat anything, man. We're telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're telling you the kingdom of heaven is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whether you hear or forbear. And if you're not with it, uh, here comes the plague, the pestilence, uh, famine, death, all right, all types of ways to die. So we don't sugarcoat this ministry. This isn't the Christian church. The Christian, the Christian church of crip walk and, um, you know, uh, uh, do the shimmy and do the stanky leg in church and not tell you what's coming for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? So this definition of sugarcoat is to truthfully manipulate I'm a, I ain't going to pay attention to that, man. You know, J J this is from an Urban Dictionary, by the way, man. And, you know, Jake always got to find a way how to act a fool, man. I'm not going to get to that. But this this is a straight definition of sugarcoat. To truthfully manipulate a fact to make it sound less harsh and or worse than the truth, the straight truth. To say the truth in a manner where it doesn't actually sound that bad. And we're not sugarcoating anything, man. We're, not, we're coming out and tell you. What's going to happen to Babylon? What's going to happen to the, our oppressor Esau, whether you hear or forbear, man? There's no sugarcoating at all, man. All right? We're not here to uh, 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 tap into your feelings and make you feel good, man. Okay? Now, part of the gospel is feeling good, the kingdom of heaven, you know, the brotherhood, the unity, uh, being washed of this filthy world. But we got to give you the, the straight skinny, man. We got to give you... Uh, what it is out here, man, okay? Death and destruction is coming. We're giving you, yes, we're giving you doom and gloom, okay? Because in order for us to be established on peace on earth, doom and gloom has to happen to this present system, man, okay? We're not just going to usher in the kingdom uh, and, and it's just totally peaceful the whole time. That's what these Israelite camps don't tell you as well. You know, you got uh, Nate Satan of uh, IUIC that tells you that it's not going to be a great tribulation. We're just going to skip and hop into the kingdom of heaven, okay, so, um, I'm gonna go to, um, 1 Corinthians 15 and 1, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein you stand, okay, verse 2, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, Unless you have believed in vain. And our people believe in vain, man. You know, they don't they don't believe in this gospel, man. They believe in, in, in these pastors, you know, these mega church pastors that don't give a damn about our people, man. All they want to do is make money off of them. And these Israelite pastors, man. These Israelite church members, you know, Nate, Yohanna, you know, Konafa, Fopi. They just, they just want to make a name for themselves, man. But we're declaring unto you the whole gospel, man. From from Genesis to Revelation, we're declaring unto you the whole book and what it means. Because, you know, Jake will be like, well, I read the whole Bible. Well, you haven't read of the prophecies, man, okay? We're out here prophesying to tell you of the famine, okay? Matter of fact, um, let's go to Jeremiah. And this is, we're not sugarcoating anything, man, all right? This is what we're doing. We're not sugarcoating for your feelings, man, to make you feel good. It's for you to get your ass up and repent, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, okay? That's what we're out here doing, man, to tell you a war of evil. Evil is coming to America, man, which is known as Babylon the Great. A great city of confusion, man. Where uh, I, I was just before I did this video, I was I was watching 
the brother Thom Yard from the Cleveland camp, and I was scrolling down, you know, the videos and whatnot after I was finished, and they had a transgender comedian. I was like, what? what? Like you don't like you not you don't want to watch that, man. I was like, oh, like what? What is wrong with you people out here, man? This is Babylon. But people in the Christian church, they will accept transgenders and homosexuals, man. That is utterly and total confusion, man. So we're not sugarcoating when we're telling you that homosexuality and transgenderism and all types of freakism, lesbianism, is 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 wrong. We're not sugarcoating anything with you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because you've been here so long that you've been desensitized to America and its wickedness, man. Look that word desensitized up. Now verse 9 says, The prophet which, have pro which prophesied of peace, that's most of you Israelite camps, all right, and um, you, you Christian pastors, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent him. All right, and, and Hananiah, he was a false prophet. He sugarcoated stuff, and he got put to death, okay? So, I'm going to get to another scripture. Um, I'll go to Ezekiel, the second chapter, all the way at the end. Ezekiel Ezekiel 2 and 7 And thou shalt speak my words unto them Who is them? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans You Israelites, the house of Israel Alright Northern kingdom and southern kingdom Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear So we out there prophesying to the wind It doesn't matter Okay, we're not sugarcoating anything. It doesn't matter if you hear or you forbear, man. For they are the most rebellious. The most rebellious house is Israel, man. And it's evident that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the most rebellious. All right? They've changed, they've changed, they've changed their power source into these other deities, man. All right, following the ways of the heathen. But it's not profiting them, man. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not... Thou rebellious like the rebellious house, open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And we're not we're not sparing your feelings, man. We're opening our mouths, thus saith the Lord. Okay? You might get a few so called cuss words here and there. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, because you Christians like to say, Don't say God's name in vain. That's not talk that's not saying goddamn and and the F word and the B word and the S word and the mother F word. Alright. I mean you might you might get the mother f word sometimes, man. All right, but that's not that's not that's not a sin. And then that that's 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 why that's that's a stumbling block, really. You know, if you can't get the fact over that sometimes prophet use harsh language, then this ain't for you, man. So we're not sugarcoating anything, man. All right. As a matter of fact, um, as a matter of fact, let me get something right quick, man. I don't know what's going on with this, but okay. All right, I just say you just want to act up, but it's okay. Give me one sec. All right, this is a uh, second. Corinthians 11 and 6, For though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. So sometimes we do be rude in speech. That's not, that's not, that's not sugarcoating. We're not sugarcoating anything. Sometimes we come in rude speech. Hey, get the F out the way, man. When someone, when you're trying to warn somebody to get the hell out of the street before they get by a car, you're not going to be like, could you please get out the way, sir? I really appreciate it. No, get the F out the way. What the hell are you doing, man? That's what we're telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're not sugarcoating this gospel, man. All right? So back to um, back to um, Ezekiel, man. And when I, Ezekiel 2 and 9. And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a book of, a roll of a book was written therein. That's, that's the scriptures, man. Because our people think that the Bible is just a, a, a fairy tale story, man. You know, these Negroes are trying to read the Bible, but they they can't understand or comprehend what's in the Bible. 
And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. It's not happy, happy, joy, to joy, joy 100% of the time, man. You're going to have lamentations and mournings and woe. And that's what the, sp the state that our people are in right now. We're telling you people that, hey, you're not going to be living in the ghettos and the slums and the barrios and the favelas all your life. You're not going to be a servant unto your enemies. All right? You're not going to be um, working these long jobs to where you just die on a job. I read a report of somebody died at a Target out there in California, man. I read another story that um, so-called black woman out there in the UK, she killed herself because she worked too many hours at a hospital. All right? We're not going to have any more sorrow. All right? And we're not sugarcoating it, man. We're telling you that your so-called white man, the man that you love so much, is going into slavery, man. All right? So we're telling you the, the whole words of the scriptures, man. Isaiah 58, 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Who's God's people? The Israelites. Who are the saints of the Most High? The Israelites. And the house of Jacob, their sins. We're telling you, hey... Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. There's been scientific studies on top of what the Most High says because the Most High's word does not go out void. All right? The Most High is not a man that he shall lie. If God is telling you to stop fucking eating pork, okay, don't do it. If God is telling you to stop fucking eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, and octopus, and raccoon, and any other abominable food, stop doing it. Okay? You'll stop doing it when the white man at the, at the doctor's office tells you to stop doing it. But when the one who you call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh, should tell you to stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Oh, this is just a tradition, man. You can't tell me what to eat. I'm a grown-ass man. So we're not sugarcoating anything with you Negroes, man. And, and you bird brain Latinos, because you're just as rebellious as, as these Negroes. And you Native Americans, because you Native Americans are docile as all hell, man. All right? So we're not we're not sparing anybody's feelings out there, man. Now, that doesn't mean we're just screaming and yelling at the top of our lungs 24-7. We have to edify and, and wake up our people. But sometimes we got to get on you Negroes, man. Latinos and bird brain, Native Americans and bird brain, Seminole Indians, man. All right? So we're not sugarcoating anything, man. All right? We're coming to, to you with the straight skinny. And, and Jake, you, 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 you would think Jake would appreciate it. Because Jake, oh man, just, just let me know what it is. Keep it 100. Keep it thou wow. Yeah, we keeping it thou wow with you Jakes telling you what's, 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 what's going to happen in this kingdom and what's going to happen in, in the kingdom next, man. The kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? <clears throat> and I'm going to get to um, just one more scripture. Um, this is... Uh, Second Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, Rebo reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And um, the word there in that scripture is rebuke because we're, we're rebuking our people out of, out of love, man. We're telling them to get right, man. You know, our people are, are zombies out here in America, man. Our people are, are, are just lost and dried up. But the, what we understand there's only going to be a certain amount of people, the election, all right, the 144,000 and the one-third that's going to be saved. This is what this message is for. So when it comes to them, we don't sugarcoat it because we know that two-thirds of our people are not going to make it, all right? They want to hear smooth things, all right? So we're, that's why we're out there in the wintertime. That's why we're out there when it's raining. That's why we're out there when it's a nice, mild day, okay, to give you the whole gospel, man. To give you this this whole uh, this whole word, man. All right. Verse three: For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned to fables. That's what Christianity is, man. A fable. Okay. I I would suggest watching Goodbye Uncle Tom, man. That you, where you get that hooping and hollering and dancing and praise dancing and praise dancers is from slavery, man. Okay? 
when you come into this truth, man, you're breaking forth from your slave master and how he tells you how to think. That's why we don't sugarcoat the gospel. We tell you that the so-called white man is the goddamn devil, according to the Bible. Devil simply means deceiver. Any man that tells you it's okay for a man to change into a woman is a deceiver. Any man that tells you that eating pork, uh, crab, shrimp, and lobster, which are animals that clean up the sea at the bottom of the sea, is a deceiver. Okay? Any man that tells you um, it's okay to marry your dog is a deceiver. Any man that tells you it's okay to think any way how you want to think is a deceiver, man. And that's why we don't sugarcoat anything, man. So with that, I hope that was edifying. Until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom. And a Baba Ball. Abad Amalek.